me, you, she, we are all lesbians. Being a trans lesbian is so silly. Fresh out of prison, we have Des, also known as Big D. Ren, 28 years old, currently in psychosis, went to school at the Pratt Institute, where they actually did not teach Zimzer what a lesbian actually is. Like, lesbians are so hot, man. They're like, they're like kissing and stuff. It's so hot. Welcome back. I feel like I did the lesbians a bit dirty two videos ago. What is that flag on the right? Cause it's an, it's ugly. That's a lesbian flag. Okay, well I said what I said. Lesbians, y'all's flag is ugly. I don't have any personal beef with lesbians. Love the L's. However, you know, I do have to stand on that. That flag was not hitting on anything that I would personally describe as aesthetically pleasing, pretty, cute. Like it didn't flow, you know? However, I do feel like I owe the lesbians a solid. I do feel as though, you know, they showed me they can take a punch, so I'll do some punching for them today. There seems to be an invasion, an occupation, a colonization, if you will, of trans women in lesbian dating apps and Tinder, Bumble, all the apps that have, you know, lesbian sections. As you can see, lesbian dating app, her tells transphobes in no uncertain terms to get the fuck out. Lesbian dating app platform sends a message to transphobes to delete our app. So clearly there's, you know, some war lines being drawn here. Some lesbians are okay with it, some are not. But overall, it's just a really ugly battle. It's giving rainbow civil war. It's a bit scary, judging by these receipts and or screenshots, sent into me by the lesbians. And I do feel as though, just gotta be honest, perhaps that flag, right, being so not aesthetically pleasing, is the reason why you are attracting these very unesthetically pleasing trans women into the app. I mean, I swear I'm not gonna harp on the flag. I wanna move past that together. Just have a meeting, fix it. Get whatever, you know, lesbian Betsy Ross y'all have and fix that flag. But let's just jump into it. So first up, fresh out of prison, we have Des, also known as Big D, unfortunately for lesbians. And as if her overall energy wasn't threatening enough, she's sporting that nice bat. If I were to put myself in the shoes of, you know, the innocent lesbian swiping on this person, I personally feel like I'm about to be tranny bash just looking at this. So I can only imagine how y'all would feel rolling up to a first date with Des. I mean, is Des showing up for a first date, perhaps at the Cheesecake Factory, or is Des showing up to beat my ass? Ooh. I don't know which way means no. Is it left for no or right for no? I'm just gonna, whatever the no is, go away. Next in our line of lovely singles, if you are, you know, ever at rock bottom, Hen. How is your name Hen? It's giving rooster. It's not quite giving Hen. And that's just me being so real. I'm sorry. Y'all want me to do this video? but you don't want me to state the obvious. It is what it is, let's read Hen's bio. Definitely more of a she they than a she they. Ew. E-N-M, polyamorous and partnered. I don't know what E-N-M means. I'm not a whore. A lot of y'all know all these acronyms for dating and relationships and sex that I just don't know because I am you know, quite pure. And this is just, I feel like I'm going to hell just looking at this. So imagine dating Hen. You're both going to hell. <laughs> For eternity. Burning in the pits of hell. Because. Actually, no, you're straight. You're going to heaven. <laughs> Lesbians, if you want to go to heaven, just date Hen. Right? Allow that Delulu that Hen has to convince you this is a lesbian relationship and enjoy each other for eternity in heaven as fake lesbians, but real straight people. It's almost a hack. If you want to go to heaven, just convince you. This is the gay hack. If you just convince yourself this is a lesbian, you can be a lesbian without even having to go to hell. I hate me sometimes. Like, I don't know why y'all watch me. But, you know, to the lesbians that don't want to pretend this is lesbian, I'll see you in hell. I'll be there, right? Already got a nice spot on reservation. 
I once heard that a lot of lesbians, particularly cis lesbians, uh, initiate uh, flirting with other women is kind of through eye contact. Like, you could just tell in the eyes, like, oh, they're into you. Um, as an autistic trans woman, that doesn't work. Because for one, I need people to be very direct with me because I don't like to make assumptions about their intentions. But the other is that, like, by default, most trans women have their walls up and are ready to brawl because... If a woman's staring at us, there's just this innate fear that they're gonna, that they've like clocked us and they're gonna say some turf bullshit and we gotta like start throwing hands. Who are you throwing hands on? Lesbians who don't wanna fuck you? Like, what? here's my whole thing. They think they're giving lesbian, but they're giving more a male aggression than the average man. So you're gonna throw hands. You're going to get that buck over someone not wanting to fuck you because you have a dick when they're a lesbian. That's just a societal threat. I mean, you're just a walking threat. I mean, am I crazy or did this lawn gnome just threaten violence upon women who do not sleep with him? And is it really your autism to blame for the fact that you're willing to put hands on women for not sleeping with you? Or is it that rape bone that you got in you? That rape bone that diddler bone, that male aggression that makes you believe that you can hit women for not sleeping with you. I mean, you're fucking disgusting. Ew, that one made me mad. Just ugly for no reason too. Looking like a woke lawn gnome. That's like ridiculous. Your autism makes you want to throw hands on people for not fucking you. It's like, oh, I hate being single. Why is it so hard to get a girlfriend? This is why. That's why. Because some of y'all don't know how to hold a conversation. Some of y'all bring fucking horrible energy and you act like men. The audacity. Did this lawn gnome really just say that anyone else is acting like a man? Wow. I would say it's the pot calling the kettle something, but that's just a man calling lesbians a man i mean wow moving on hopefully we have some better prospects on lovely bumble is that my ex <laughs> i mean that's just a man hello i'm scanning it right this picture not quite getting trans not quite getting woman definitely not getting lesbian what i'm getting is avatar human hybrid and that's okay Perhaps you were born this way. However, I don't see why you should be in the lesbian section, sir. And this really pinpoints, you know, exactly what lesbians are talking about, which is one thing I believe and I, you know, have heard and have observed that lesbians have to deal with that, you know, gay men don't is the fact that people are constantly trying to convert them and change their sexuality. I mean, you hear about how men tell them, you know, how do you know you're really a lesbian if you haven't been with a man or just get with me and you'll like men or whatever? No one really does that with gay men. Well, some of y'all really desperate ladies do that. And I have to tell you, please stop. It's embarrassing. However, you know, lesbians do deal with gross men trying to convert them and trying to bust nuts at their expense. And as someone who also has men busting nuts at my expense, I have empathy for that because it's gross. And you know, everyone does deserve love. Well, not some of y'all, but Brian here, you know, hopefully he gets what he wants out of life, but I don't think he's going to find it in the lesbian section. So swipe. No. <laughs> O's can. With the goatee, I just. Is this what y'all are going through? Lesbians? Because. This is like worse than I expected. I really thought. I really thought it would at least be trans women that were just busted. I mean, these are just dudes who look not even busted because they just look normal. These are just guys. Wow. Well, you know, he is a Taurus. So maybe that changes some of y'all's minds. So let's read um, Zim's bio. Mad, queer, disabled. An ND. What is ND? 
N D. <gasps> Does it mean no deck? I think it means no deck. That's bleak. Okay, maybe it means neurodivergent, but I'm just gonna go with no dick because it's funnier. Mad, queer, and no dick. <laughs> we are really in a fallen state. The world. <laughs> Jesse Lee Peterson was right. YouTube star Blair White. Blair, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Uh, you were born a boy, right? Yeah. Cooking, reading, TTRPG. I'm not even Googling that one. I just don't care. Like, I can't. I can't do any more fucking acronyms. Uh, meditation. That's nice. <laughs> Maybe y'all could do that together. Um, yoga, nature, comedy dogs, rope play. That's how you know it's a man. He's just going to throw in rope play to a bunch of wholesome sh No, no. Even if you almost got me because, wow, like yoga, like fun. Rope play? Comrades, please write. Yeah, don't forget call me. Don't forget call me. That's just intuitive, right? Next up, we have Ren, 28 years old, currently in psychosis. That's not in the bio, I'm just observing. Age 28, went to school at the Pratt Institute where they actually did not teach, you know, Zimzer what a lesbian actually is. I'm a gentle lesbian trans girl looking for someone to cuddle with. Something tells me if you have to say you're gentle, you're not that gentle, right? I mean, that stubble's not so gentle, so what's gentle, sis? Sister. Sisterhood of the never shaved a single part of my body in life. Oh my God. Santa took bath salts. That's just scary. Unfortunately, you know, I don't foresee a lot of success in the lesbian section. But you know, what these hoes are banking on is that, you know, y'all are gonna be easily manipulated, right? You just say, I'm a lesbian, and then they jump in it, which actually is a thing, unfortunately. And this is where I have to, you know, part of me doing the lesbians a solid is hyping you up and letting you know, don't let these ass dudes manipulate you because look at this article. The lesbians who feel pressured to have sex and relationships with trans women. And this is the thing that really made me wanna do this because I have heard stories throughout the years of, lesbians feeling pressured to be in relationships and or have sex with trans lesbians who are literally just that way for a fetish and as you all know as you should know right if you're a boy white supporter and or subscriber there are various reasons why people end up being trans and some of them are a bit dark right some of them are a bit more in the light you know it's all fucked up <laughs> Gotta be honest, it's all fucked up. But some of it is a little more innocent than others. And if you have that fetish, that's a bit darker, you know. Is a lesbian transphobic if she does not want to have sex with a trans woman? Some lesbians say they are increasingly being pressured and coerced into accepting trans women as partners, then shunned and even threatened for speaking out. Conversion therapy doesn't quite work, right? Either which way. So y'all, woked out, libbed out, you know, gross parents trying to make your kids queer for fucking social capital not gonna work y'all trying to fuck lesbians into being straight not gonna work but what may work unfortunately because of the way women are hardwired and this is part of what makes them beautiful is they do have you know a higher emotional iq and they are you know more susceptible unfortunately to emotional manipulation just because that is the language that women have a better time are better able to speak right and that's one of the things that i learned very quickly upon transitioning right is that Changing my predominant hormone to estrogen gave me a much higher emotional IQ. And it did actually, and it's been, you know, several situations in my life. I'm just more susceptible to, you know, emotional manipulation if people are really good at it, right? And I consider myself a smart person. So that just shows like it has nothing to do with your intelligence. Never mind even the fact that, you know, being called a bigot or being transphobic is like you feel like your life is over these days. I don't, you know, y'all say that to me on a minute to minute basis. Don't care. But that really affects a lot of people. People will do anything to not be perceived as a bigot. And unfortunately, that may include being with someone who they are not even attracted to simply because they're using that trans spell. See, a lot of y'all are witches. A lot of these trans bitches are witches. I don't know about you all, but to me, there is nothing more embarrassing than being queer and being bigoted at the same time. Roll clip. I bet you just stopped at it. I don't know about you, 
but there is nothing more embarrassing than being queer. But to me, there is nothing more embarrassing than being queer. Freeze frame. <laughs> Let's keep going. Roll clip. Queer transvians. T for T, more like B for B. Absolutely adorable. Fucking love it. Is that really our flag? You've got flying in the corner and you're calling yourself a transvian. Yep, our flag. That is our flag. Because me... Let them have it. Okay, here's the plan. So, I told y'all lesbians that flag is ugly. Give it to the transvians. Let them have it. And construct a better, pretty, more, as I said, aesthetically pleasing flag. This is y'all's out. And as you can see, you know, if y'all just listen to me, I, just, I know how this shit works. I know the game plan. Give the uglies the ugly flag. And then y'all could have a beautiful, like, I don't even know what colors. I'll let you pick it, right? But, like, this is the moment. May I suggest a flag? BlairMerch.com <laughs> Because me, you, she, we are all lesbians. What the f*** are you playing at? Nothing? You're straight, man. Straight, man. Oh, I see the confusion now. Lesbians are women attracted to women. She is a woman who is attracted to women, so she's a lesbian. Who is sexually getting off in what you're doing right now. Because she's transgender, because she's a lesbian. That's not how this works either. Probably because she's trying to put a penis inside a vagina. Now listen, here's where y'all want to try to catch Blair White in a bluff. But Blair doesn't bluff. I am not the person who is going to say that men who are, you know, trying to get all up in my business sexually are 100% straight. I really don't think that. Do I think they're all the way on the Kenzie scale to like gay as fuck? Like, no. It's a scale, right? There's gray area, right? However, it's definitely not straight. If straight means like just attracted to only biological women. And that's what lesbian means in the reverse, which is just they like biological women. So... The idea that you can force your way up in here and looking like that, I mean, this is giving your average male who just joined MySpace.com in 2006, I mean, what exactly is lesbian about this? I completely agree with the lesbians, TM, because this is disgusting. We don't affirm ourselves because of who we're attracted to. We affirm ourselves because of who we are. Do you know, right? How disgustingly disrespectful that is towards the transgender community. What you Hi, transgender community. You see, that's how you know. This is why I f*** with lesbians. Despite that flag. Because even in the midst of dragging this person, it's like they're still going to make room to be like, this is also disrespectful to trans people. And it is. Because just join MySpace in 2006 doesn't equal trans. Because tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. At all. Hi, transgender community member right here. I, I got it right on my sleeve, right on my sleeve. Also the lesbian. Well, you are official, aren't you? Wow. That's officially embarrassing. Also the lesbian uh, flag too. But uh, yeah. Uh... So you'll commit to being a lesbian so much you'll get the lesbian flag tattooed on you. But you won't transition at all. Like I just... <laughs> It's really bleak. It's getting bleak. I mean, I, I gotta say, as someone who's covered this shit for, we won't even say how many years. It's been a long time. Um, if you showed this to me even a few years ago, it's like, I might have to take a vacation before even addressing it. It's that outrageous. Things have escalated that much. Or you know what? I won't even say escalated. It's like things have really dwindled down to this dumb. I don't feel disrespected by what she said at all. The fact that you're trying to change words. Yeah. And let trans be in. Yeah, trans is a fucking great word. I love it. You, you look really... How much do you love it? I think you love it a lot. I heard the boner pop. Like people are laughing at you right now. We know. 
You're not telling us anything we don't know. People are laughing at us. It's the man's planning for me. He knows. You don't know, woman, but he knows. Deal with it. They keep saying deal with it. Like, I swear to God, I feel like I'm in an argument with like any of my boyfriends I've ever dated. That male just deal with it. Fuck you. I'm not dealing with shit. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Antonio. So I'm seeing my ex and now I see my uncle. The fact that you couldn't shave before taking a pic and logging onto lesbian Bumble. I mean, what are you doing? Sis, Uncle John, <laughs> you look like my Uncle John that maybe I haven't quite met yet, right? Ancestry DNA brought us together. So, you know, you're part of the family, just not quite, but like still my uncle. That's what it's giving right now. It's giving distant uncle. I'm an alpha bottom to a woman who is deserving. I ride tongues. See, this is like, I swear to God, I'm not just trying to be funny in this video. I do actually think it is so demented that women are dealing with this on dating apps. Filming this video is turning me into a turf. <laughs> it's turning me into a man hater. I mean, God, this is just like, if you want to see a microcosm of the nastiness that exists in men, look at lesbians on Tinder. This just boils it down right to the fact, right? That men will really do anything to just nut and i would imagine as a lesbian you quite enjoy not having to deal with that and yet your dating apps are polluted with it so again you know fix that flag but this is not your fault this is not your fault the flag is though just tweak the purple it's the purple that kills me and the brown it's the whole thing get rid of it my name is Jezebel Lilith Eve. I am a natural born lesbian woman. I was born with a Don't like that? Deal with it. Bye. Who exactly has to deal with that? Who's dealing with your dick other than you that just has to, right? And also, I don't think these words mean quite what you think they mean, so I'm gonna need a few definitions to find natural. Define lesbian. Define woman because I feel like not a single one of these words are being used properly here. And maybe I'm crazy, but I mean, that was just belligerent. That was straight up belligerent. That was you using a bunch of words that didn't really mean shit and you're just throwing it out there and saying, deal with it, bye. And I'm not going to deal with it, baby. I'm not going to deal with it. I thought a lot about gender and I like to play with it. You're playing with God, baby. I stand for women by identifying as a woman. That makes me a lesbian. I mean, that checks out, right? After coming out as a trans woman, I got to have my first lesbian experience. Growing up, I had the same thoughts about lesbians that most red-blooded American males had. Like, like lesbians are so hot, man. They're like, they're like kissing and stuff. It's so hot. So once I did experience it, I can honestly say, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It's the mouth breathing for me. And I have one thing to say. Fall back. Like that hairline. Fall back because... That's just offensive. Everything about that was offensive. The fact that I am now no longer attracted to men in particular is quite offensive. So actually, perhaps conversion therapy does work because congrats. I don't like men anymore. I wouldn't say I like women now, but how about everyone just stay away from me for a while? I mean, this trauma is going to take a sec. I need a beat. I need a sec. Red-blooded American male. Lesbians are hot. Herder. Deal with it. As they've been saying, deal with it, right? Sorry, mom. She's scared. It was a scary noise, I'm sorry. Being trans is so weird because like, 
misogyny is gonna give you gender euphoria. Like you're gonna get catcalled on the street and you'll be like, ugh, that's disgusting, but also. That's how I know. As if there wasn't, you know, a different silver bullet in this video. This is how I know. You gotta hang up this trans shit because never in my life, in my transition, have I like been like, oh, I got cat called. I feel great about that. I mean, that is a bit pathetic, a bit fetishy, and a bit nasty. Nasty Nate, I'm gonna call you. You're nasty, Nathan. And I just don't relate. And anytime one of these trans people on TikTok start talking and I know it's fake when I can't relate to any fucking bit of it. Like sometimes even the crazy ones, there's a part of it where I'm like, true. But this, it's kind of like, so if I had a word of advice, I mean, I would just suggest moving to the gutter, Greg. Being a trans lesbian is so silly. Like you're really telling me that I spent hundreds of dollars on hormone replacement therapy and put incalculable strain on my relationship with my family just to dress exactly like how I dressed as a teenage boy. Being a trans lesbian is so silly. It's almost like you get to call yourself trans while completely avoiding the need to transition because you can just dress how you did as a boy. How convenient. You're just so silly. <laughs> trans is one thing but trans lesbian then you don't gotta throw out that wardrobe you only have to sign up for u-haul reward points you're just so silly i just realized this is the ben franklin person <laughs> you look like ben franklin with that wig those wigs they used to wear so in conclusion leave lesbians the fuck alone and i personally am gonna go now and attempt to regain my attraction to the male species because this video has definitely depleted it love you follow this channel as well as my podcast channel follow me on twitter and instagram and i'll see you in the next video